Crossover vehicles are a popular trend in the automotive industry, and the hottest crossover sport at present is kite surfing. It stands to reason that Mazda designers ask kite surfers what their ideal car would be. You need a 4x4. Function, but with a sporty attitude. But Mazda's design team had to meet even more demands than this. Internet yep. in the car, oh, in the, yeah. that would be <laughs> awesome. <laughs> but kiteboarding has made it a lot more accessible. You don't need a giant car. We don't need to drive just, 200 no. miles an hour with air conditioning. That's no. not important. As long as the kit fits in there, then that's fine. <laughs> In mid-2006, they began to put the ideas and suggestions from professional surfer legends to paper at the Mazda Design Center in Oberursel, Germany. Here, they created a compact crossover coupe with roadster feeling and great attention to detail that will appeal to more than just kite surfers. Why use this sport as inspiration? No one knows better than Peter Birtwistle. Kite surfing's pretty new. It's young, and we feel we're a young, kind of exciting uh, company, and it just it seemed to fit really well. In fall 2006, things began to take shape. Sketches became reality, and the Mazda Hakaze was born, made by advanced computer design and traditional handmade craftsmanship. Each component was created separately, according to the exact specifications of the designers, who, during this phase of development, continued to make improvements and introduce new ideas. Perfect teamwork, under the guidance of Peter Birtwistle, ensured that every detail was just what the car builders and the designers imagined them to be. When we do a concept car, uh, uh, it's fun, of course, but, you know, it's serious as well. And, and there will certainly be some basic form language in this vehicle, which you're definitely going to see in, in future vehicles. That's always been the case with most of the show cars that we've done. Then, on January the 31st, it was finished. The all-wheel drive Mazda Hakaze. On the outside, it corresponds exactly to the Nagare design concept. Flowing lines make you think of sand formed by wind and water the first moment you see them. Its semi-transparent elements are reminiscent of thin Japanese rice paper walls and help create the appealing floating light effect of the rear lamps. The interior was inspired by dune landscapes. Surfaces and lines create a natural environment that appeals not only to kite surfers, and Mazda Hakaze is not only optically appealing, its kite surfing theme also dictated a choice of materials that make the interior especially easy to clean. The Mazda Hakaze is the achievement of kite surfers, designers and car builders working together to make a kite surfer's dream reality.